first tune of this course is number one, Kaya. I let you hear how it sounds and then I will explain it. Open the bellow on the up and down side. Starting with putting your fingers one, two, three, four, five on C, D, E, F, G. This is the first tune called Kaya. I'll explain in parts of two notes, the uh, two uh, measures, how you can play this tune. Okay, we start with an E, C, T, E, F, G. A C you find by next to the two black notes, a key, I'm sorry. C, D, E. You play it with your middle finger, number three. On the ba bass side, we play, we are searching for a small key with a note, with a uh, That is different from the others with a small hole in it. So on the second row, just under the middle, looking for that. And when you found it, you put your fourth finger, your ring finger, on it, and put your middle finger, number three, right next to it. And then play one main bass and two chord basses. Main bass, two chord bass. And on the right we play a note from three counts. together and it used to sound like this starting exactly together right and left This looks easy, but it's very difficult. In the beginning, it doesn't look like this at all. But keep practicing daily about 10 minutes, and in one, two weeks, you will see that you can play it like this. It, in this uh, exercise, this is the most important thing to learn, to play left and right at the same time and in different rhythms. Okay, this is the first measure. E, three counts, and the 
bass side, one main bass and two chord basses. Next measure is the same. And we are only pulling on our pedal two measures. And now we are going to push two measures. And we take a number five, and that's a G. Also three counts. Also second time. So the first four measures are going like this. G, three times, three counts and two measures. Once again. Continuing with an E, three times, three counts. G, three times. And an E of six counts. The last one, once again. Six counts means one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, that E of six times, six counts. I play the whole line once again. Second line is the same except the last two measures. So I'll start again with two measures an E of three counts. A G, finger five, also two times, two measures, three counts. E, three counts, G, finger five, three counts, and watch now, we are going to take the C with our thumb, number one, finger one, six counts. Once again. So the whole line, second, the line two, is as follows. These are the first two lines. We continue with the next line. And that's a little bit difficult. Instead of three counts, one note of three counts, we are playing now three notes of one count. First two lines we play this. One, two, three. And now we are playing one, two, three. On this side we do the same, playing one main chord and two 
major chords. I say I, I said uh, not correctly. It is one main bass, bass, and two chord passes. And the first two measures of the third line are sounding like this. Once again. The next two are the same, but then on G. Finger five. First four measures once again. And then we continue with the E of three counts. G of three counts. E of six counts. Whole line. Line 4, the last line of this tune, is the same as line 3, except the last 6 counts, which is like in line 2, a C. First two measures, line 4, two next is G. First four are sounding like this. E, middle finger, finger three. Finger five. And watch good that you take one main bass and two chord basses. Three counts. G three counts. And we are ending this tune by a C with our term number one, finger one, of six counts. So the whole line sounds like this. Most important of learning in this exercise is playing with your left and right hand together. And at first this is very difficult. Try to do this daily about 10 minutes and within one, two, three weeks, that's different per person. It sounds more like uh, what I am uh, trying uh, to show you. This is number one. and. Uh, well, if you need more exercise or want more exercise today, you can start with number two, called CC.